To understand how to graph a variation of the cotangent function y equals a cotangent of bx minus c, first we will review the graph of the basic cotangent function. So here we have the rectangular coordinate system and one of the asymptotes is at 0 and the other one is at pi. So we can say that the function completes one period as x changes between 0 and pi. Now, to find the values of x for which this function completes one period, we need to solve the following inequality. We will take the expression bx minus c and write it between 0 and pi. These are the values where we have these two vertical asymptotes. Now, to solve this inequality for x, first we will add c to all three parts. In the middle, negative c and positive c will cancel, and we will have c is less than bx and is less than pi plus c. And now we will divide all three parts by b, and we will get that x is greater than c over b and is less than pi plus c over b. These two expressions represent the new vertical asymptotes for the function y equals a cotangent of bx minus c. So again, this function will complete one period as x changes between c over b and pi plus c over b. Now, if we take another look at the basic function, we see that the graph crosses the x-axis right in the middle between two consecutive asymptotes. This point is the x-intercept of the function, and if from this point we go halfway to the right between the x-intercept and the vertical asymptote, then the value of the function here is negative 1, but if we go halfway to the left, the value of the function is positive 1. In our variation, there is a number a in front of the cotangent, therefore, after we find the x-intercept, when we go halfway to the right, the value of the function will be negative a, and when we go halfway to the left, the value of the function will be positive a. Now, let's see a complete example on how to graph a function that has the form y equals a cotangent of bx minus c. The function that we will graph is y equals 2 cotangent of 2x minus pi over 4. In the first step, we will find the new vertical asymptotes, and for this, we will write this expression between 0 and pi. So, 2x minus pi over 4 is greater than 0 and is less than pi. To solve for x, first we need to add pi over 4 to all three parts. Then on the left, 0 plus pi over 4 is pi over 4. In the middle, negative pi over 4 and positive pi over 4 will cancel, and we will get 2x, and to the right, pi plus pi over 4 is 5 pi over 4. And now, if we divide all three parts by 2, then to the left we will get pi over 8. In the middle, 2 and 2 will cancel, and we will get x, and to the right we will have 5 pi over 8. So these are the new vertical asymptotes. Now, to the right I will have the rectangular coordinate system, and now to the right of the origin we will have the first vertical asymptote at pi over 8, and let's make it dotted. Then to the right of pi over 8 we will have 2 pi over 8, 3 pi over 8, 4 pi over 8, and 5 pi over 8. At this point we will have another vertical asymptote. So here, between these two asymptotes, we will graph one period of this cotangent function. Next, we know that at the midpoint between two consecutive asymptotes, the graph will cross the x-axis. The x-coordinate of this point is 3 pi over 8. To find it algebraically, we would need to add pi over 8 
and 5 pi over 8 and divide the result by 2. So again, to find this x-intercept, we will take pi over 8 and we will add 5 pi over 8 and we will divide the result by 2. Pi over 8 plus 5 pi over 8 makes 6 pi over 8. Then all this will be divided by 2. Here, first we can reduce the fraction 6 pi over 8 by dividing the top and the bottom by 2 and this will give us 3 pi over 4. Then 3 pi over 4 divided by 2 equals 3 pi over 8. And this is the x-intercept of the function between these two asymptotes. Now, in front of this cotangent function we have number 2 and this means that if from the x-intercept we move halfway to the right, the value of the function will be the opposite of this number, which is negative 2. But if we move halfway to the left, the value of the function will be positive 2. So, let's plot these two points. And now we will connect them to make the graph. If we move to the left, the function will approach positive infinity. And if we move to the right, the function will approach negative infinity. Now, if we need the x-coordinates of these points, then we can see that the x-coordinate of this point is 4 pi over 8, and the x-coordinate of this point is 2 pi over 8. And if it's not easy to see them, then we can find them algebraically by adding 3 pi over 8, and 5 pi over 8 and dividing the result by 2 and this will give us this x coordinate and to find this one we would add pi over 8 and 3 pi over 8 and divide the result by 2. So here we have the graph of the function y equals 2 cotangent of 2x minus pi over 4. The period of this function is pi over 2 and it represents the distance between two vertical asymptotes. As you see, if we take 5 pi over 8 and subtract pi over 8, we will get 4 pi over 8, which is pi over 2. From here, we can repeat this graph to the left and to the right as many times as we need. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, leave comments, and thank you for watching.